Okay, here we have a Carrera Vulcan from 2018. I got this thing at the Borum Car Boot Sale. As you can see, it's in pretty good condition as well. Um, like, there's not much, you know, paintwork damage or anything like that to it. There's a few nicks here and there, but hey, it's a used mountain bike after all. This is a 2018 model, and the main difference is between the new ones and the old ones are oh, this is 8 speed and the new one's 9 speed. So you've got SRAM X4 gearing on here, which of course is very reasonable, will last pretty much forever. A SRAM riveted crank set, so unfortunately you can't um, remove the chain rings or replace them. You'd have to replace the whole crank set when that wears out. The frame is a standard Carrera affair with the inch eighth straight steer head tube. You cannot fit tapered forks to this, which is a bit of a shame as it does limit your upgrade options quite severely. But then not many bikes in this price point have the tapered head tube. And the only one that does is the B-Twin 540, as far as I'm aware. The brakes on here are Clark's EXO with the inverted uh, master cylinder. They work reasonably well, they are a bit contaminated, so I need to sort that out. For a suspension fork, the Rocky SR Suntour's XCM, and unlike the XCMs on the Hellcat, these have not only rebound damping, as in it's fixed, but you um, do get actual oil damping inside, but lockout as well, so you can turn the fork on or off. You also have the uh, preload adjustment right there. The wheels are your standard Carrera affair, they're not reinforced or anything like that, they're just your basic basic wheels. Although the spokes on this one, these, mm -mm, a little bit loosey-goosey there. I might need to retention these a little bit later on. The hubs are open bearing hubs as well, but hey, what do you expect on a bike of this price point? The cables are rooted on the down tube. Now this isn't one of my favourite designs because all the mud, this is like a classic bicycle design though, but all the mud and stuff does tend to congregate on the cables. What they've done to mitigate this is just leave the cables free with no sleeve on there. You're probably thinking, why is this? Well, basically, if you have a sleeve, water will get trapped between the sleeve, the, um, the outer or the sleeve, and then um, it will just corrode the cable. So they've just left them free, but it does mean they'll rub on the frame and you end up with all this paint here and clear coat coming off over time. There is this little spacers if you like to uh, mitigate that but they've gone rock hard as they always do. Pedals are your standard well go things you get with these. At least it's nice of them to actually include pedals. The front derailleur is a Shimano Tawny. You could fit a dropper post to this if you wanted to. Uh, the aluminium is made out of 6061 which is fairly common. Nothing really wrong with that. It looks pretty typical to your Carreras all Carreras ever made really, I haven't really changed the uh, styling very much in recent years. And the geometry is pretty steep on these. I don't know the exact hang head angle but I suspect it's around 69 degrees or so. Whereas a more modern bike like a Marin St. Quentin or a Norco Torrent or I don't know the AKA is going to be around 64.5. But the uh, slacker bikes don't wheelie as well because the fork's sitting out more to the front so there's more weight over the front end. So these older, older style uh, bikes do really better, but they uh, don't jump as well, and they don't, um, they don't, not so much jump, they don't do drop-offs and certain cornering as well. But hey, for the price I suppose you can't complain. So yeah, that concludes the video on the uh, Carrera Vulcan. I might do a video about me riding it later, we'll see. I've got someone interested in this already. I'll see you later.